Havoc interview two, scene C, shot one, take one. My name's George. I'm one of the technicians here at Havoc Performance. I've always been into cars, uh, anything motorized. Uh, grew up with a father that was into cars and always had something, and so it's it's definitely been a lifelong uh, journey. I started at Havoc uh, almost a year ago, so I'm the new guy here. So, um, growing up, tinkered with everything. <laughs> Whether I could put it back together or not, you know, that's where I started in playing and anything motorized. I like a broad range of things. Uh, I just like being able to get my hands on things, put my own touch on them, and, uh, you know, really just uh, have fun doing it. Lifelong uh, career in automotive. Um, did through high school, in high school, once I was able to get jobs, I worked gas station, worked, uh, a friend of the family had a shop doing tires, carb uh, tuning, just repairs and stuff like that. And then uh, moved on to your typical uh, tire shops like Firestone and stuff like that, and um, till I graduated high school. From there, I um, went and went to UTI and MMI for schooling just to make sure that I, you know, knew what I needed to know. You know, everything up to that point was just hands-on. So, you know, to get the actual ind industry way of doing things is nice. Being one of the technicians, I pretty much handle the customer cars, um, do what's asked of me, whether it's a Viper or, a, you know, another type of car, uh, any of them. Yeah, yeah, a Challenger, Charger, you know, any of those. You know, Mike really, gives me the freedom to do what I feel is right, um, which is hard to come by, because uh, a lot of businesses want to just get it done and get it through. Um, but you know, in an industry like this, you really need that personal touch sometimes and that ability to think it out before you just do something and push it out the door. There might be days where I'm washing cars. You know, it's, it's part of the job. It's, you know, everybody pitches in to do what they need to do. I feel with any job, you're gonna learn something. You can't have a closed mind and say you just know it. You gotta work in the limitations of what you have, but in the same sense, you have to be almost a, uh, you know, a scientist figuring new things out. You have to do your uh, due diligence, trying to find, you know, take inspiration from other brands, other models to go, okay, well, I've seen this on that. Can we make something like that work? And do some research and try. You know, you can't always just go with what everybody else has always done because you're not going to do nothing special then and you're just going to sit there and do the same thing over and over again. That's kind of boring. Nobody wants to do that. And with a small shop, um, we all help each other out. And, uh, you know, it, it just makes things work smoother. I've always been in the car world. I've always been a mechanic at heart um, from a young age. We had a Camaro, IROC at one point. We had a Fox Body Mustang. We had an old uh, C3 Corvette. Um, he had a pickup truck, a Nissan pickup truck that we, you know, did wheels and lifted and everything else on. Um, yeah, just always had something fun around or somebody that we knew had something fun that we was coming over and being worked on. So that's really, you know, where I got my start. So, I, I don't have a brand loyalty, a car loyalty. Um, I like different, I like trying different things. I've had all different, you know, German cars, J uh, Japanese cars, American cars, and there's an aspect of all of them that's fun. Trying to find one to put it, all the highlights of all of them together is really hard. Um, I'm a fan of high revving, nimble cars probably say an RX-7, like the last generation FD, is probably the one car that I would probably want to center myself on if I was to have a dream car. You know, the exotics are just out of reach and just, it's more of a show than it is a go to me. Um, I like making something to be what I want. And that's my dream, is building it to be my car and one of one, so. I build it from scratch. I get a chassis and I build an old 
uh, American muscle car from all new parts, new technology, new suspension in it, new drivetrains in it and stuff. So you have the, the beautiful lines of the older cars, but you have all the modern technology, drives, starts, you know, feels like a modern car. You could do whatever you want, go on a road trip, but you still have that nostalgic feel of the old car. We've done some big projects. Um, I think my, the one I feel the best about is, unfortunately it wasn't a Viper, it was a Corvette, mm -hmm. that we're having problems with uh, heat issues. And uh, went through some steps. It was already, you know, before I got to work on it, um, the shop had already done some things to try and mitigate. And, uh, you know, we made some suggestions and did some uh, extra cooling custom stuff on it and um, as funny as it is I made it too good <laughs> it was cooling too good then so now I had to take a step back on it and um, but we were able to really fix it after it being a problem for a long time for the customer and um, customers great I you know I feel great that customers happy we were able to fix the problem I got to put a little spin on it with my own custom parts on it and stuff so that I think is probably one of my most gratifying ones. And um, I try to push that into all the other customer cars, you know, and really fix what, you know, we may be fixing stuff that the car needs, but what's the customer's problem with the car? Really focus on that so they're happy with it. So, oh, huh. building the new building was fun. Um, you know, besides that, it's just the, the, the spread of different vehicles and builds that come in. Everything from just maintenance and repairs to the full builds and the uh, excitement of random things that come in here. <laughs> you have the people where they love their car, but it's just a car to them. And then you have other people where this is, you know, they've saved up half their life and this is what they were able to get. So you could see the uh, relationship they have with the car. So you want to take that on and you want to um, keep that and treat it that way. You know, we treat every car with respect and, you know, the best is ability, but, you know, some people, you understand that this is their baby. You know, they have this instead of kids, you know, or something else or so, you know, you take every aspect of it. The classic cars, the 71 Challenger, the 66 GTO, the, uh, the trucks we've done uh, for customers. Yep, another truck that's gonna go on to the uh, lift soon. Um, you know, customers of ours that have daily drivers that just need maintenance done on them, you know, we handle that for them too. Um, the variety's fun, it keeps things fresh, so. You get that personal relationship with the customer with what are you looking for, what do you need, and um, to be able to uh, fix that for the customer is the best part. And that's where you really build your relationship with the customer is being able to see their vision and put it into reality. There's been difficulties with some things, trying to push the limits on cars. Uh, you know, you have to find new ways of doing things, better ways of doing things. Um, you know, with the aftermarket not being as supportive of these cars as other brands and other types of cars, you kind of sometimes have to find your own way or find somebody that's willing to go that extra step to help you do it and stuff. Um, you know, and again, trying to push the envelope on what we're doing with the cars, trying to make more power, make them run better, make them drive better. Um, that's kind of the fun of it. It's hard, but it's also fun because you're, you're, it's an unknown territory, so. We really strive to do the best job, make sure it's right before it goes. You know, whether it takes the extra day, week, you know, even month to do it right and make sure it's right before it leaves. You know, um, that hasn't always been the um, aspect in some of the other jobs I've been at. So it really, uh, I'm happy to be able to do that and that they give me the opportunity to do that and flourish with, you know, the custom parts or just thinking about thinking it through before we just jump in and just to do it right. That's what it comes down to. And, uh, you know, that's where my enjoyment is, is being able to make it right for the customer.